Yeah, I hope. <laughs> Welcome everyone to um, eight things you need to know about Wikimedia Commons categories. Now we decided to do Commons categories because now, ten years into the um, into the Wiki Loves Africa um, competition, because a lot of people find, and I think it's something that also um, organizers are still a bit confused about, but a lot of people find it difficult or because of there's so many steps to uploading an image that there's the categories, they're just like, oh, it's just too technical. It's too much. It's one one step too far. Um, so I thought it would be a good time for us as to just go through what the common mistakes are um, and some tips and tricks uh, to try and get us going. Um, all the most of these images, I just want to caveat here. Most of these images are from Wiki Loves Africa 2024, but because I've used them doesn't mean that they're in up for a prize. So I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want anyone to get overly excited about the fact that I'm using their images up here. They are beautiful images, but I'm not involved in the um in what the final say will get. So um. I just don't want anyone to go like, oh, well, you know, that, that, that might influence anything. We'll that's see. a very important caveat. Yep. Anyway, just in case. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So those are the T's and C's. All right. So let's get started. Um, why use categories? And I'm sure everybody understands how categories work, but um, the idea of using categories is basically to find stuff. So as commons got bigger and bigger, it became more and more important because there was just all of this material there. How do we find stuff? How do we link things so that it's easier to find? So categories essentially are groups of related pages and media. So there's stuff that, and as you'll see, there's stuff that basically, um, some stuff is, you know, there's lots of crossovers between groups. So there's lots of, um, when you upload media, there's stuff that's associated with a project, with a topic, with an idea, with a country, with a, um, a concept. There's like a whole different way of terming or categorizing that media or that piece of, piece of uh, image, that image or that audio or whatever it is. And it's really important because if people, when people are looking for either something to remix, so to create a video or to make something else out of it, or if they're looking for something to illustrate an article on Wikipedia, or maybe they're looking for an image of somebody specific for Wikiquote, then they can't find it if it's not categorized properly. And a lot of people also don't title their images properly as well so that they get image number 342 or whatever it is that comes off the camera and they forget or they go like um or they go I don't know across number seven to 253 whichever like the images are so um you need to think when you're uploading images I know you most of you know this but when you're uploading images obviously the title is one of the description issues but also the categories, as much as the description of that image is important, the categories that you put it in are also the things that people use in order to find that image. So there's no point, it's like spending all that time, like two or 20 years making a movie and then not telling anybody about it, basically. That's essentially, you want people to come, we're releasing them under open licenses because and we're doing wiki things like Wiki Loves Africa in order for people to see a different Africa and to experience alternative um, ways of working in the world. So the weaving that's done in Ghana is different to say the we weaving that's done in Madagascar or in Cambodia or in the Netherlands. So we just want to see different cultural and, uh, and other kind of uh, perspectives. If you come, just in welcome, I just want to say thank you very much for being here. Please tell us where you're, you've come from in the chat, but also if you can just mute or mute your um, your your uh, audio, that would be great. Thank you. So categories, um, 
are also arranged. So they, there's a category structure and it's the main way to uh, organize the, and find files. And the categories are arranged in hierarchies. So you go from very general topics, like I'll show you an, an example just now, like frog. Um, so you would have amphibians. And then of course, further down that is frogs. Frogs is, one, is an amphibian. And so then you would have, um, then you have specific types of frog. So I'll show you that just now. So you would have then say for weaving, you would have, and you'll see I'm using <laughs> that as my kind of like theme of, of the day is weaving. Um, because of all these categories kind of weave together uh, to make um, us be able to find it, they're all little threads. Um, but say weaving, there's can be done into types of weaving. There's looms or the materials that are used or the uh, the types of machinery that is used or the country that it comes from or the uh, materials that make up the the um, the woven item uh, or the kind of woven item that it becomes eventually. So there are multiple kind of um, categories that you can use um in order to do that and every time you upload you should always include your categories um and also research them before and it's a good idea to to do a little bit of research into that before you actually upload okay so where are we so finding when you're uploading you want to actually there's the majority of Categories exist. There are some categories, obviously, when you're working on projects and stuff, you create categories for those projects, and the, that's when new categories occur. And then there are other categories that might, in the case of um, Africa, there's a lot of categories that don't, are not specific to our country. So there might be some, like, uh, weaving in Cambodia or weaving in Thailand, but there's not weaving in Madagascar and there's not weaving in Ghana. So those are kind of elements that you can create categories in order to do that. I've also, uh, but let's not look at creating first, but perhaps just searching for the kinds of categories. So if you're doing an image like the one that's on the right hand side here of a loom and some somebody who's weaving, you want to look at what, how other, uh, how other images are being um, categorize that relate are similar or relate to weaving so you want to look at those kind of those kind of elements you also want to check how similar files are categorized so um some as i was saying some might not be categorized so you this you know you could have one which is weaving in cambodia but the, as i said there's none weaving in ghana or if you're using say sisal as the, the material it could be, there could be like, um, that material could not be reflected in that category. So you want to, so what happens is you have like weaving and then you ha would have subcategories below. So um, let me just come out of here and then go into, um, I wanted to go into categories here. Yes. Right. So this is uh, even the very, very top something called topics. Can you see this? This is a top category, very, very high level co category. It's just under the commons route. And it's basically you can see image sources by topics. And when you click down there, it will show you all the different types of, of image sources. There will be by the different time that it reflects. So it would be by, you know, the third millennium or by like, you know, contemporary or whatever. You can have topics by decade. And this is just topics. So you see that there's and all of these things by name. So you have objects by name. And then you would, these all have sub, if you can see, it all leads to another topic. Yeah, so it's it's a hierarchy, as I was saying, this is a hierarchical kind of list that goes. So the top list is topics, but there's something underneath it and then something underneath it and then 
you know, so if we were going to, I want to upload this image of a frog. Can you see it? Oops, no, stop that. Don't do that. Um, this image of a frog. <laughs> um, it's a cape clicking frog. And if this is what the, um, if you put cape clicking frog into, um, into commons, if you search for it, it comes up here, which is what the Latin name is for it, um, or the species name is for it. But if you want to go back, you have to go then to amphibians by country. And you can find in amphibians by country all sorts of amphibians of, Nam of Namibia, because I couldn't find frogs of South Africa. <laughs> so that didn't exist. But amphibians of does exist. So there you go, amphibians of South Africa. And then you have specific like um, regional kind of spaces. Um, and Anura is the name for, um, for frogs. And so then you have all of this, but then it turns into kind of Latin as well. So you have to be, you know, clever on the research kind of thing. All right, so going back to searching for categories. And the other thing then also to do is to just search. So like I did, you just put in frogs or cape clicking frog or whatever your term for it is. And unless it's quite obscure or an, it's specific to your country, if it's known in English or in one of the major languages, um, international languages, uh, it, it would be probably found. You would find a way it would, you know, you would find some kind of example uh, that would reflect what you want to upload. If you, um, if it's very, like, very local or very well-known colloquial in, in a local language, it's unlikely to be known. But if you, you know, it's a good thing to just think around it as such. So even though there might be an, a local name for weaving, as such, weaving baskets um, might have a local term, but the the act of what they're doing is kind of universal. So think about that as well. Um, so those are the examples. So when you're searching for categories, think slightly above, but don't do that when you're putting categories in. <laughs> so um, when you your has anyone got questions about finding categories and the hierarchies of it? Are we good? We yeah, good? I'm good here. Okay. Yes, yes, we are good. Awesome. Go on. Okay. So how do we use categories? Okay. So categories, we want you to use them when you upload. Okay. So it's in the, and I'm going to come out again of the um, thing and show you, go back to the Cape Clicking Frog. When you use the upload wizard here, as you can see, um, you change, you know, you change the title so that the title is, is quite clear. Uh, you put whatever the caption or the description you wish to put it in. And then you down here, can you see there's the additional information and in the under additional information, there's the category, which says optional, but it really shouldn't be. Um, and here I have put uh, already put the Latin name in it. So when I upload this, it will go into that category. I tried to look for frogs of South Africa and you can see here, it says, no, that category doesn't exist. Okay. So we're going to cancel that unless we wanted to create because we had like an amazing collection of diverse frogs from South Africa. We want to stop that. We want to cancel that. But when you type in here, a neuro of South Africa, you see this is, it kind of, goes through the system so it's it goes like okay um amphibian amphibians of do you see so it has a drop down 
and you'll be able to see even if you haven't done your research you'll still be able to see what you can and a lot of it is a bit of lateral thinking you have to kind of like workshop in your brain sometimes to find the right category for it but um yeah so you should be able to find there you should be able to find um the right category at least that's something yeah um and then just going back to this so we keep so that's like when you upload it, it's a good idea to at least do one or two um, categories when you're uploading. Um, and I think in the majority of us, what we do is we put, especially if we're only if we're only organizing for say um, for things like Wiki Loves Africa or Wiki Loves Monuments or whichever other Wiki Loves you you're involved in, you're like okay, well I've got to make sure that we've got Wiki Loves Earth in you know, 2024 20, in Ghana or in Ethiopia or wherever you are so that it reflects in that category. But you forget about what the content of the image is. So it's yes, it's lovely for it to be uploaded as part of the competition, but the whole point is to also feed into so that other people can use it in order to change how people think and feel about Africa by viewing the images that we, we see. So when you're doing that, also when you're naming categories, so as you said, I didn't, as you saw, when I was trying to put the name, the thing in, I didn't just go frogs or um, clicking frog, cake clicking frog of South Africa. I tried to so, try to get kind of like down to the bottom of, so I didn't go frogs or amphibians. I was trying to get it down to like a lower kind of level more detailed so not the general category i don't want it in the general frogs with millions of frogs i want it in a very specific so if somebody's looking to illustrate an article about a cape clicking frog that's it so in this case not weaving but a table loom perhaps or not weaving but weaving machines by wherever uh, madagascar or zimbabwe or whichever country uh, that you're reflecting and when I spoke to some of the people who work within um, culture and within GLAMS, they're Wikipedians and residents, and I said to them, what, you know, what do you want? You don't go like, um, so you don't go, um, if you're reflecting a building or you're, you're showing a scene from somewhere specific, you don't just go like Bulawayo or Cape Town or wherever, you go, um, building or park like the you know or um outside uh whatever you know um green space in the country or green space or an unidentified building in Bulawayo so it allows it to be quite specific so don't be shy of saying something that's unidentified if you don't specifically know that space but it's a good thing to make sure that you reference either the town or the city or the country that it comes from okay and you can also it, even after you've uploaded you can add them afterwards does anyone have questions at this time I'm going to tell you about how to add them on <laughs> afterwards but um does anyone have I don't want to there's a lot going to go on so I don't want to just put a thumbs up or whatever you want to do if you're good to go Hello. Hi. Hi, this is Suyash. Uh, so my question is like, you know, uh, especially what happens like whenever we try to create a new category. So we are literally very confused. Like I have also written in the chat uh, that let's say if we want to uh, create a, a, a category about the potter of a Ghana. So whether it should be a, a potter from Ghana or the Ghanaian potter sometimes it, it creates some uh, confusion and also uh, uh, in my case whenever I try to create category I, I just uh, you know uh, there are some confusion about the capital letters and small letters like category already exact exists but uh, since it is very uh, case sensitive the lines in the cat name of the categories are very case sensitive so it doesn't uh, like it, it's a challenge like you know sometimes 
category already exists and we created accidentally with the different uh, uh, letter keys. So yeah. how to overcome with these challenges? I'm, thank you very much for that question. I'm not entirely, it, it raises another question, uh, another thing that I want to share as well is that don't just focus on one category, if you know what I mean. So if um, what I'm saying and why I've, I gave those things for the, for the weaving is that, yes, it's an item, but it also has a location. So that allows, you know, and, and it probably has other things that need to be categorized that it reflects as well. Um, I have also, so yes, I've also fallen um, by the wayside of uh, categories not being consistent in their spelling or consistent in their capitalization. And so yes, have created an alternative category. If you do create, um, have to create a, ca a category, maybe afterwards, um, just double check, uh, do a, a, you know, just do a, and go onto another tab into commons while you're uploading and just double check, like search, because when you go into the search um, section, sorry, um, let me go out. When you go into the search section here, say if I was going to search for in here for cape picking frog and press, it gives you the categories and pages. So these are the images, the audio, and then it gives you the categories and pages. And then you would look for um, the, the category. So, you know, that that would be more suitable for you. Yeah. So here I should actually just go category. Hey, picking frog. And of course, it, uh, it doesn't want to tell me, but um, but it might, you know, it it should bring up amongst here. There should be some um, a reflection on what that is. Um, yeah, I'm not sure why why it's not putting up anyway, um, but. Any, but yeah, so also just check with that. When you do create a category, you then have to go in and you should not make it so it's a red li link. So even if you add images to that category, unless you go in and add like, like you would with a, you know, with a, um, with a, an article, some information about that category, it, it will still go red, stay red as well. So you have to be careful about kind of like when you're creating categories, like why are you doing doing them? What is, unless it's a project specific one. And then those categories, that new category that you've been, you've created also has to go inside a relevant category. So you have to categorize your category that you've created. So I think that's also a very important thing to remember as well when you're, so don't just, haphazardly create categories just because it suits you or because it's easier and it's quick. Also make sure that you research the the those um research what what whether you might have got so like when we upload stuff and it could be marketing material, but it also could be communications. So you know, so just check under different kind of versions of what what the category could be. Um, and if you create a new one, just make sure that you also add the categories to that so that it's in the right place. It's not just some leaf blowing away in the wind. It's actually attached to the category tree so that you can find it again or somebody else can find it, which is more important. OK, going back to thanks for that. It's a good point. Did I cover all of those things, Soyash? Good. OK, so tick. Tips and tricks. Um, first of all, as I said, use more than one category. So make sure that you um, every file should be able to be found by browsing a category structure. So when you are thinking of what image to, like this image here, it's bright colors, um, it's uh, threads, it's um, different kind of, you know, it's a, it's probably 
sisal or something like that. I'm not sure what the, what the actual material is that's being that's being um, has been created there. It's dyed, so it could be under dyed thread. Um, there could be a category for dyed thread. I haven't researched it, but there probably could be. So there's a range of different things that this this image could fall under. And I don't want to get into structured data or into descript kind of uh, or depict kind of st stage of things because at the moment I just want to concentrate on categories. But yeah, with with depicts or with structured data, you can get into like blue or pink or whatever you want to as well there. Um, but for this, for the stage of do, just do more than one category, I just want to sh just think a little bit laterally about what what categories would be suitable for an image like this, okay? And then place each file directly into that category when uploading, which is what I said, like do, you know, make sure that you're covering it then, or you can, and I'll show you how to do that now um, how to do it post or how to do it afterwards. And you can also add categories to other people's files, which is the other way of doing it. When you when you get a bit more um, confident, perhaps, in what you want to achieve. Uh, so with the tips and tricks, um, I just want to, I don't know, I think a lot of you probably know about this, but I, I just want to be sure that we're covering all of the things. Um, if you go up to your preferences, so up here in this space, can everyone see it? And you click on preferences, all of these things, when you're logged in to commons, all of these areas open up for you here. Okay. And what you want to do is you want to go to gadgets. And under gadgets, there's a whole range of different things. And a lot of them over here have information, more extensive information about what they're offering. You'll see I've got quite a lot of stuff that's named here. Okay. And under files and categories, I've got uh, long image names in categories. And I've also added some other stuff that you can have take a look. And I've also placed, you'll see, I've placed my categories. Um, if I go to an image, where are you? Here at the top, because I work quite a lot in categories sometimes, well, depending on what's going on. And I like to see it above. You can also put it just below or it will stay at the bottom here where it is. Okay. Now, if you look, this is how categories are normally visualized at the bottom and you can see that there's nothing really obviously clicking on it will take you to that category so silk workers yeah but in what's quite nice about this image is that it has a lot of different so it has silk workers it has hand looms and it has artisans um it also i'll show you just now it also has other categories in it which are kind of also quite interesting, which adds to the, the image. Um, and, but I like to have the, you can using that, those preferences, put them towards the top, but you don't have to, it's up to you. But the big thing I wanted to, to if you scroll down to tools for categories, Catalot is um, a tool that helps you obviously with multiple files. So it's something to, it's a bit, I would read the documentation. It's a little bit, can be a bit tricky or a bit confusing. Hotcat though, is the one that you want. So Hotcat is the one that takes, you see here where uh, you can see plus signs and minus signs and whatever. You can add here, you can add the category directly to that image now, because I have added, it has, um, being activated on my preferences and I could go like weaving in wherever and it would bring up options you see so if I didn't think that this image had enough um, had enough categories I can press the plus and it will add to them I can also add a new category um, 
or and I can also put them up and down and I can cancel one if I thought one was abusive I could cancel it as well but please don't do these things without um really thinking it through uh, people do patrol this so it's not something you can mess around with so no absolutely no abuse only good intentions please on this okay so that's a very good one to do. Um, and then there's other things like deep cats search and things which are also very good. And then when you go, but please read the material so that you understand what it's doing. The hot cat one is by far like the, the simplest one for you to start with. And then I go to, um, I think it's appearances. Let's go back to the slide. Yeah, so you go back to appearances and um, and uh, yeah, advanced options. <laughs> There's too many things. Advanced options. You could also tick show hidden categories because there's a lot of housekeeping, you know, that we don't want everybody to see. So there's a, a things like say, Wiki loves Africa. Um, images to check or whatever it is those are images that we don't particularly want other people to see so you'll see on say this file here um you'll see here are the categories that are the top level categories that are for that file but underneath there's a whole load of housekeeping organizational files so there's files with coordinates missing there's these are all the this is the file that's under the cc BY essay four point. This must be a huge category. There's self published work, uh, Cambodian photos taken on this day. There's images by this person, um, and then there's also the images that have been taken with these this kind of camera. So, in a way, um, it allows you to say show a different kind of. Um, you know, it, it allows people with uh, that knowledge to have better knowledge of what that image is without somebody who's just perusing for an image of people working at, on looms, you know, or, or industry in Cambodia kind of thing. Um, as Suyash has Suyash said, um, Hotcat is very, really very helpful. It also helps you in suggesting category names once you start typing. Yeah, so what I was saying is that um, here, I don't know, but when you start, if you want uh, industry in CAM, it'll tell you whether, and there is, there's like industry in Cambodia. Okay, but I'm not going to put that in because I think it's fine. I think that's too high level for this. All right. Is everyone clear on the kind of like the where to go um, for the tips and tricks, or where to go? It's literally you go up to up to this section here and it's under preferences and then gadgets. Okay. Good. All right. So then another way of doing it. So those are the tricks. You hot cat is great because you can absolutely do it that way. But if you're wanting to look for a little bit more in you know, information, or if you're just a traditionalist, you can use, um, you can use the, uh, the source code. So you can use, and it's just, you know, it's the square brackets, double square brackets with category, and then, um, and then a colon, two dots, and then no space with the first between um, category and the first, uh, the first it's it's quite weird but with the the first letter of the next of the the category that you want to add and but you can put as many spaces after that as possible and then make sure that you close the brackets so in case so a diagram of the orbit of comets would have um, astronomical diagrams because it's a diagram as well as be in the com the comets kind of category as well so as i said with this image here we had, um, sorry, we've gone too far. We had photos, a photo of artisans in Angkor, 
in Cambodia. So we had artisans of Angkor, we had hand looms in Cambodia, we had silk wood workers, we had 2018 in presumably that's the place, I don't know, I haven't been to Cambodia, that's the place in Cambodia. Cambodia photographs taken on this day, images by so-and-so, and we saw those, some of these are hidden. So it's kind of an interesting um, that here, when you look um, on, let's go back to, sorry, when you, when you look on the actual page here, if we go to ed edit source, you cannot see on the the um on the source on the edit source page whether they're hidden or not which is kind of interesting as well okay all right so if you want to do um and we'll go into this now if you want to do go through it like uh for zimbabwe there was um recently for wiki loves africa there was one person who had left completely bypassed the upload wizard and mm -hmm. had um, not put in some of their categories. And mm -hmm. so you can just copy and paste the categories that you know needs to go into those 10 images that, sh that needed to be updated and needed to be included in the contest. Mm -hmm. So if you want to do it that way, you can use, it's easier to use source code than using, say, Hotcat and just type constantly typing the same thing in like 10 times. So you could copy and paste and go into source code and do it that way. Are there any questions on that? OK. We good? All right. So uh, for when you're running a contest like Wiki Loves Africa, there's a, as I just mentioned, there's a, a reason some people just don't use the tools that we've created. It's nice to have you. Um, thanks for joining us. And I know some people have had ter um, bad connections. Thanks for keeping on coming back. It's really good to have you here. Um, so for specifically to Wiki Loves Africa, we have good, you know, we have people who um, we use an upload wizard. So to make it as easy as possible so that all of the images are collected under the Wiki Loves Africa 2024 images from X country. Um, and that's created with a, like a, it's a template that we will talk about templates just now, but it automatically places these categories in, in it. Um, and so when good categories would be all the automatic categories that are assigned to it because of, um, the upload wizard that people you should use when they're doing Wiki Loves Africa. But also in this, it's a good, this example of the, the Mardi Gras is from Haiti is they also added additional categories. So he added um, carnivals and you can see that the good categories here is images from Wiki Loves Africa 2024 in Haiti. And you can also see that it was it's under category that it was uploaded via the campaign uh, Wiki Loves Folklore because it also was entered to both. Okay, so this that specific image, um, but a lot of people don't do that and they don't upload via the the um, the uh, the upload wizard, and so we lose a lot of images or they forget to put um to use the drop down which selects the country so we we don't get the country that they're in so we have a we have some categories which are automatically assigned which is kind of clever people within the community have created these bots that automatically assign images that don't have categories or don't have um things that are then put onto um, into these kind of spaces and it makes it easier for us to then find them. So uh, one of those is category, the uh, images from Wiki Loves Africa 2024 to check. And that's because it has, it doesn't have, either it doesn't have um, a country or it doesn't have, um, it doesn't have any categories in it. 
So there's a whole range of reasons why we must check it. Um, then there's images from Wiki Loves Africa without categories. So these are not necessarily the ones that have gone through the upload wizard. It's the ones that there are like always thousands in this category because people don't add additional categories. So it's like the additional category. So in this case with this lady here, it would be a painter or some a painter at work or something like that, that would be just one category would take it out of this without category spaces. So if you click on these, they're all linked. Um, they will give you the space. Sorry, if you can't see it. But these are all linked. I will upload it to um, Commons. It will be available tomorrow. Um, and you'll be able to kind of like see these are, this is one of the ways that uh, the team checks for all of these, um, all of them, just to make sure that, that we haven't lost some people. And we have, we've, we often, there's normally, I don't know, between 100 and 500 images that have managed to um to find their way around the upload wizard and so that uh, that we lose them um and then also checking images from so if you have people who were like oh no but i uploaded like 50 images from your community and there and there's there's not 50 images in in that category for your country chances are they didn't add the country name or they did did it via another way. So um, that's why we have this images for from Wiki Loves Africa 2024 without unknown um, without country. And I'll show you um, sorry here how to so getting to I think it's this one. Yeah. Okay. All right, so this image, I chose this image. It's a very cute image, but you can also see that it has the main category here is just Madagascar. Um, and it has images from Wiki Loves Africa with the unknown country. And then it has images from Wiki Loves Africa 2024. So even though it has Madagascar here, um, it hasn't got like a you know a proper categorization of what that image is. And down here you can see that it, in the description it doesn't come in. Can you can everyone see that? Let me up. You can see that um, there's no correct country code indicated with Wiki Loves Africa template and that the image um, with the theme from unknown. So it's just basically, this is a, a bit of a problem child. Like it's nobody's fault. I'm just, it's just an example. So um, I'm not targeting Madagascar. I'm just using it as an example. Um, and so what we can do is we can immediately change a few things. So what we would go in is here's a good example, the Kente weaving process. And this is a lovely image that's from Ghana. You can see it all, it's all been done correctly. Um, although that there are no categories uh, that have been added and I would encourage them to do that to add the categories but what we could do is we can then pull the um this lot here and we would go to um, this image and we would check yeah we've got the same you know that we've got the same images here yeah. So we've got all of those things there. But what we do want to do now is that there's an images from Wiki Loves Africa in Madagascar. And then here, what what we're going to come to, which is a template. Um, and we're just moving on to those now. So 
it's it's not as easy as just only doing the the um, categories it's also important to look at the different templates so that while we're looking at um the kente one the kente weaving which was uploaded by bright you can see that here in the description there's this um this section here this was the area that allowed um, it to be categorized as from Ghana. So if we then go to the if we then go to the um, Madagascar image, we can then put MA here, which is the code for Madagascar. And if we press publish and we show preview, oh no, it's from Mor Morocco. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to put it into Morocco. Um, let me just, I thought I'd had checked um, for Madagascar, sorry. I had a category for Madagascar, sorry. Wiki loves Africa. Oh, rivers. Okay, so we can go into any one of these and check if they have the thing here so this one is the right one sorry and it's mg of course sorry so we would go to mg and we put g in here and we would show preview yes it's now in madagascar Woo! okay so we then publish that change and now you will see underneath it's nice and neat. It's not such a mess after all. And the best thing to then do is to click on the author, even if they haven't created their um, their user page and go to user uploads and make sure that that category is then applied to all of these, because I imagine that it was batch upload, uh, batch uploaded and they all have the same issue you see so that's one way in which you can help to as an organizer you can help to um fix the categories for in a way that kind of like is is very useful and makes your country's um contributions look better it's something that obviously um somebody who's fairly new to wikimedia and wikimedia commons and even some of us wouldn't know how to do, if you know what I mean, that because it's such a thing. And these are created, these categories are created by templates. Um, and it's this information here, if you look at the, um, at the space. So it's just this, the templates, I'm sure you know, are the ones that are created in the curly, these kind of like piano brackets. Yeah, you know, the clef, double clef brackets. Okay. All right, the curly brackets. And these anything that has a curly bracket, a double curly bracket is a template, rather than a link. So um, just in case you wanted to know a bit more about that. So as I said, this, you know, we've, we've seen it in absolutely in um, reality, we've seen how it works. And just check all of that all of those contributors um, uploads are uploaded. Okay, so that's pretty much it. That was eight, eight things that you now know. You probably knew them before, but um, I hope that, I hope everybody else, has anyone got questions? About anything that I've said? <laughs> yes, Minette. Hello, hello. Bonjour. Bonsoir. 
yes um thank you very much for the for the presentation um i have a question about the translation because our translation of categories and also uh sometimes i see categories with uh, the wikidata like an info box can you just explain how um how important maybe that is and for the translation because sometimes we we've had issues of creating categories like in French, so people will create categories in French, whereas the category already exists in English or in another language. Uh, like everything seems to always be in English in in, uh, in Wikimedia yeah. Commons. So maybe yeah. you can tell us something about the, the translation and how maybe Wikidata we can help uh, organizing the translation. Uh, yes, thank you. So Minette, I am really the wrong person to ask about this because, as you know, um, my French is abominable and uh, my attempts at any other language are even worse. Um, and so I don't actually really get involved. And I do know that it is really um, I am very privileged to be able to speak English and that uh, that is the the um, the language that is mostly used on this platform. I don't know why it was, um, I don't know why it was kind of like um, made that way, considering everything else is meant to be um, so diverse and, and language um, equitable, but I know it isn't. I know it isn't equitable at the moment. I think I can ask Florence of that question and see if she can answer, help to answer it. Um, I, I'm not sure. I think it's one of the, like a key problem um, with not necessarily the community, but I do know that Wikimedia Commons is severely under-resourced um, as far as the support. And I know that there's actually, and it's something that maybe um, I'll try and dig out and then share on the um, on the Wiki Loves Africa channel, but the, uh, on Telegram, but there's there's been a call or a petition that we're putting out in, or that somebody has created in order to to ask the the Wikimedia Foundation to put more resources into supporting um, commons because at the moment it's just running mainly on um, volunteer support and um, trying to keep up with a very heavily media world and having issues like that. I think it needs uh, considerable money in order to, you know, to help facilitate those things to happen. Um, I'm not, I'm sorry, I couldn't answer you properly, Minette, but I will try and get an answer for you or some kind of solution. But I have a feeling it's about a lack of resources. So I'm sorry about that. Any, does anybody else have any other questions that, um, that I can answer. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, memos. I'm not sure. For oh yes, no. So I also wanted to tell you and thank you for reminding me um, that a lot of so what happens is as you can see that there's a lot of kind of like things that need to be fixed when uh, images. The images themselves specifically don't need to be fixed, but how they are located in commons and there's a lot of other stuff that does need to be helped along. And on this link, um, Wiki Loves Africa has an amazing volunteer team who work um, tirelessly in order to make sure that um, that a lot of these things are fixed. And you can help by joining this team because it happens all the time. Uh, it carries on way past um, way past the the contest because it's about and we have a whole load of things uh, that are done. So there's stuff that is checked during the contest, which is around like whether it's a copyright violation, uh, whether there are images that have watermarks and those need to be tagged. We check the dates of uploads, whether they've been double uploaded in order to, you know, just like it's they uploaded them like six months ago and then they thought, oh, no, this would be the perfect image for Wiki Loves Africa this time. And then they double upload them, uh, check current deletion requests and make sure to um, participate in those discussions about whether 
it should be uh, deleted or not. A lot of people uploaded very obviously AI images this time, and it wasn't really something that was part of what we were wanting to reflect. Um, and people, and not only were they uploaded um, AI, they were also AI that had come from somewhere else. It wasn't even their AI that they had, you know, gen asked to be generated. Um, and then country uh, images with no country references and images with missing maintenance tags. So there's a whole range of stuff that this intrepid team goes into and goes and, and helps. But it would be stuff like things that you can do as as um, okay. as amazing, the amazing organizers that you are is to go into your own, you know, to go and check the country, the images with no country references and go and make sure that some of the images from your country is not there. And you will know like the user, maybe the usernames and you should be able to kind of like identify some of those from that. Uh, towards the end of the contest, we also check um, participating users and we find more lost images. Like I was saying, we go and find different ways to, we have different ways of finding these images that have um, not got the correct, um, the correct information in order to be included in the, in the competition. And so we make sure that everyone who intended to, to um, enter where he loves Africa without, um, but didn't have the knowledge necessary or found some other way of, of getting in there uh, that make sure that they are actually included. Um, and then we also want people to add more descriptive categories and um, list images to be checked and to check them. So we have a lot of images to be checked and just get those checked. And then we can take some mm -hmm. of those um, warning category notices off them. And then lastly, there's also a section where we make sure that um, that quality and featured pictures are nominated or at least put forward for nomination or suggested for nomination because a lot of people who upload don't know about that. And uh, we've already had at least two or three of our images that have gone in for featured um, well, loads of the images have been sele selected to go forward for the featured images or for the picture of the year, but we've had um, third place um, and fifth place from some of the images from Wiki Loves Africa. So it's really important also just to encourage people to, to do that so that we can, and this is the team um, that are doing it. Yeah. Yeah, I th yes, so yeah, so the, um, a lot of the resources that should be available for commons are not because of this issue. Let me see if I can uh, get that, um, get that campaign. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to find it. Uh, get the campaign that we, uh, that people are signing. And if you wish to add your name to that, then you can. Sorry, let me find it. Uh, I will share it on the chat um, in in the um, on the Telegram group, and then we can um, you guys can decide whether you want to support the additional resources for um, Commons or not. All right. Any other questions? Many new users don't know how to nominate their pictures, their images for um, quality images and um, valued images. Yes, so those are the, um, so yeah, that's the reason why we have this amazing team who go and do that as well, because we realize that people don't understand, you know, because just getting through the upload wizard is often enough for them to do it. Um, yeah, we can stop the recording. Wilson, do you want to stop? I like